Alright, hello and welcome today to a custom livery tutorial. Many people have been asking for this, so I thought it was finally time to do it. So, I'm, yeah, it, it's, it's a very simple process. I'm going to be showing you the copy and paste method. There is another method that I will mention quite a lot in this video, but if you want to learn that one, I'm not the person to learn it from, because I barely know it myself. But anyways, without further ado, we're going to get into this uh, and try and go as quickly as possible. Alright, so the first step to downloading or installing any sort of mod for a game is to go to somewhere to download the mod and find the mod you want. So for me, uh, I personally use Race Department for most of my mods for most of my racing games, including like a Seto Corsa and everything. Just because it's all in one place and it makes it easy to access. It's very simple, just go to racedepartment.com forward slash downloads. You'll see this screen here. You will need to create an account or sign into an account for this uh, to access the downloads. So do that first. Um, and then you're going to want to go to, down in this left hand side you see the categories tab. You're going to want to go to F1 20XX series. Click the little arrow to the left. Click the one then next to F1 2021. And if you want a uh, team skin, you're going to want to go to F1 2021 skins. If you want a My Team, you want to go to F1 2021 My Team. Alright, so this is the mod that I use for my uh, my team career. So that's the one that a lot of people have been asking about. So I'm going to leave a link to this in the description as well. Just so you can go straight to this mod. Uh, if you, this is the one you want. But it's nice and simple. If you, if you read down here, it sometimes will say like, Installation Guide. I'd recommend still watching this. Uh, but... If you need it, there should also be like a text document in most folders that you like. Most files that you download, there will normally be a text file uh, that tells you how to do it all. But uh, not always. It's very simple. Just press the download button. The download will begin. Uh, that was one of my Seto Corsa mods. Ignore that. The servers on this can be very slow. So you know, ten minutes for four hundred megabytes is not great. But if you download it at low times, you know, for me. Because I'm in the UK. If I download it at like 2 in the morning. Um, it works really well. It goes in like a couple of seconds. But if I download it at like midday. Or say like 4 in the afternoon. It's going to take years to download. Uh, but yeah. It, it doesn't really matter. Just download it. If it takes a really long time. Don't complain to me. It's not, it's not my fault whatsoever. <laughs> Alright. Once you have the mod then. Uh. Open it up, and you'll get your files and everything. Uh, so yeah, just, just get that opened up. All going already. Uh, once that is open, if you click inside of the file, you should see there is normally around about two or three things that will be up here. Maybe four. It really depends, like, who made the mod. But for me, for this mod, you have copy and paste, manual ERP, which I will not be going over in this video, if ever, because I don't know how to do it myself. So we're not doing that. Uh, and then there sometimes would be like installation instru instructions like this one, uh, it's just a text file, um, just like that. Once you've gotten to this stage, um, I recommend checking if you have uh, any of the DLCs bought. Alright then, so before we move on to anything, uh, I can't recommend for this enough the breaking point content pack. Most of the module install will be th using one of the three liveries you get. So, Cass Rackman, Aiden Jackson, or the other guy, I've forgotten his name. It'll be through one of those three. So, it makes it a lot easier if you have this. Because, one, you don't have to go through and edit things. Uh, and, two, it means you can find it. Because, obviously, there's so many liveries in this game that not everyone has. That it, it, it's, it could take a very long time for you to find the livery that you have that you can then use so i just recommend buying this it's 4.99 and you get quite a lot of stuff with it well you, you you get a full set or full three sets of race gear which is a livery gloves helmet and race suit and then you also get the the whole breaking point stuff here all right back to the installation then so we have our three files here you're going to want to go to your file explorer and find wherever your uh, 
F1 directory is. For me, it's all the way in Steam apps and common and all that stuff. Like my my Steam directory. But you're going to want to go to it. So this is what it is for me. Uh, for everyone else, it'll be different. You know, some people will be like program files, x86. It'll be, some will have it straight to their games. Uh, like straight to a games folder. But for me, it's in my Steam, just like this. And then you get all your files. And that, for now, is all you really need. Alright, so we're in the files now. Uh, we have our mod on our left and our F1 directory on our right. Now, this is probably... It's the easiest method to get mods. You can use manual, which is with ERP Archiver. Or Ego ERP Archiver. Um, good luck with that. I will not be covering it, because I don't know how to do it myself. But good luck with that. You're going to need it. So, open up the copy and paste files. You'll have a couple of folders in here. Some mods will have four, some mods will have two, some mods will have one. This one has three. Literally, it's as simple as highlighting all of the files. Click and hold. Drag it over. Let go. That's it. You just let it do its thing. It will ask you to replace files. You're going to replace them, but because I already have this one installed and also customised, I'm going to skip the files so I don't mess any of that up but it is literally as simple as letting it do its thing you'll click this little bit here replace the files in this destination i'm going to click skip because i don't want them uh, installed and then that is pretty much it that that is your mods installed and just to show you again how simple it is to do uh this is a uh livery mod it's the mercedes mod that i use it is as simple as opening it up dragging and dropping it in replacing the files and that's it. That is literally all it takes to do it. It's such a simple process and it's such a good reward. Alright, once you're in the game, if you go to wherever you are in your thing. So for me, it'll be my team. For some people, it'll be a driver career, depending on obviously what mod they installed for what team. But for me, I just go into my driver career. Not my driver career. My, my team career. Load that up uh, and then I can go through the next step of setting it all up. Alright, we're in the game now, so obviously I have my mod already on, so for me, I don't need to do any of this. But for you, you want to go ahead to your corporate tab. Also, sorry for, you'll hear my will making clicky noises when I'm using like, my paddles and stuff to move across. I apologise for that, I'm working on it, but for now, we can't do anything about that. But you'll want to go across in your corporate tab, all the way across to customization. Then you have your car liveries and clothing and emotes. So start off just with car liveries. Select the livery. So you're going to want to go to liveries. Select category thingy. And then you'll, if you look in here, you'll have all of your stuff. Uh, so for me, I have my alternate livery as Devon Butler. And then my current livery as Casper Ackerman. So we have that there. You can see, obviously, I have my little name on the halo. Uh just because why not but yeah so you have your livery you'll just select that and that will be that done now one thing that i've seen a lot of like i've seen happen a lot of times especially at the start of a new season is sponsors still showing up on the car and not even you don't even see them on the car but they like then come up on the race suit which for some race suits will actually look really good but for some will look really bad so here's how you're going to fix this you're going to quickly go to your car liveries. You're going to select the livery. Like select where you can go to liveries. You're going to want to scroll across, across to a livery. That can have sponsorship decals on it. And select that. So for me is this this one works. Select it. And you want to go across to your sponsor decals. And just make sure that every single one of these. Is left blank. If, if you have any one of these. With a sponsor like that. Now, next race, my race suit and sometimes your car will also have that sponsor on it. But with custom liveries uh, that use any of the legendary uh, liveries, you can't change it with that livery. So you have to just select a different one that you can change it with. So just make sure that there are no sponsor decals and then you won't have any issues in the race. I really do hope I helped. And if I did, feel free to like and subscribe. You know, you don't have to, but... It really does help. I post almost daily. You know, I'm starting to fall off a little bit, but almost daily content for my team. And also I'm now doing a Road to Glory series with McLaren. So 
feel free to drop by for any of them. Uh, their prices are around about between 6 and 8 GMT every couple of days, dependent on whether I can get the video out or not. But anyways, yeah, thank you for watching this one. I really hope I helped. Uh, and I hope to see you in the next one for some more uh, F1 2021 races. See you then.